and chapter 5 question. A uniform rod XY of weight 10 newton is freely hinged to a wall at X. Hinge means it's kind of like the pivot, pivoting about X. So they already told you the pivot point. Very nice. It's held horizontal by a force acting on Y at an angle to the horizontal as shown. What is the value of F? We stay calm and we remember what is moment, how to find moment, and what is um, equilibrium. Is this rod in equilibrium? I would say it's held horizontal, so kind of implying that it's in equilibrium. So equilibrium means that the clockwise moment or torque equals to the anti-clockwise moment or torque. What is the clockwise force acting here? Mm, there is the 10 Newton. And it's already perpendicular to the pivot. So I'm just going to use moment equals to perpendicular force times distance. That's a, a more straightforward one. So let's say 10 times. What's the length? They didn't tell us the length, miss. You kind of have to invent your own length because you, you got to do something, right? So I'm going to say let the whole rod be length L. So this half will be half L, here will be half L. How about that? Or actually, let's make our lives a bit easier. I don't like the fractions. So let's say the whole rod is length 2L. So here is L, here is L. I like that. Okay, so 10 Newton is L away. Anticlockwise, you only have this force F. It's at an angle though. There's two ways to do it. You can either say torque is perpendicular force times distance and say mm, you have to resolve the force. So it kind of do something like this. 30 degrees. You could find the perpendicular force, which is this one. And that will be opposite hypotenuse sine. So this will be F sine 30 times what's the length? 2L. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is you could say the torque, instead of resolving the force, you resolve the distance. I'll show you both because sometimes Maxine will ask you to do both in paper 2. So the force, you just take whatever force it is, so that's just F. But the perpendicular distance is actually this one right here. So this is your force's line of action. So the perpendicular distance to that force is that green color D perpendicular. So this one. Let's label that here. So which method you want to use is really up to you. How are you going to find this distance? Draw a triangle. Guys, you know triangle? If the whole length is 2L, okay, this is a right angle triangle. 2L, you're going to find what this is. And you know many, many angles. So let's use this 30 degrees. This will be sine... 2L sine 30. And look, at the end of the day, they are the same. This is the same as this. F sine 30, 2L. F sine 30, 2L. F 2L sine 30. Ah, yeah, same thing. So either method works. It's just up to you which one you are more comfortable with. So I'm just going to write here F sine 30 times 2L. Sometimes, by the way, uh, one method might be easier than the other. Anyway, let's continue. So we have unknown L's, but don't worry. Don't worry, the L's, you can divide L on both sides. So L cancel out. So it doesn't care how far away, how long this rod is. I like this question. That's left with 10 divided by sine 30. 10 newtons. Okay. So what do we get here? Let's calculate. Oh, I forgot a 2 here. 2 sine 30. Thanks for pointing that out. My own brain. You should get about 10 newtons for this. So that will be C. Quite interesting, this question. Don't panic. If you don't know the length, just invent your own values.